Hey, what's going on everyone? I just wanted to jump on here today and share my story of how I almost got severely scammed on some uh, Caitlin Clark items. I don't know if you guys seen their per first uh, playoff game with the Suns, but it wasn't pretty. You know, Indiana got blown out. <laughs> it was pretty bad. But here we got a 2022 popular uh, Caitlin Clark Bowman University card in, uh, for Iowa. So this card's pretty hot right now. So I got that card. That is not the scam, but figured while we're on here, go ahead and talk about it. And if anybody knows anything about these, please let me know. I know she was 16-ish uh, in this photo, and she was playing on Iowa Attack. It was like a Nike-sponsored team. You can see it on the, on the back there, card number 22. So it's kind of a neat piece of history. I've been picking these up as I can get them, and I actually kind of stopped because they're going up in value. And I've seen some with like red lettering on them and yellow lettering, one of... 10 and 1025 and I'm like what's going on with these because they're all the same but I know there's a lot more than 10 or 25 of these so I don't know if they were issued at a game or what the story was so if anybody knows please let me know down in the comment section so here's what was going on I ordered a Caitlin Clark card um, and it was it was kind of similar uh, packaging it was graded by PSA and it wasn't a, I shouldn't say it was a grade, it was just authenticated. But what it was, and I'll show you a picture too, I'll put it up here. But there was a, it was a 2021 Sports Illustrated, the December, uh, January issue for kids, Sports Illustrated for kids. You know, her whole, a whole sheet of cards came in that book. And hers was in the, I guess it'd be the bottom right hand corner of the card. Um, but anyway, there was one autographed and authenticated by PSA. And I was like, man, that, that'd be really nice to have. And it was a decent price, made an offer. This was on Macari. And so I bought it. The person had uh, no ratings, but I thought, hey, they, they want some money. Maybe they don't have any ratings. And I knew on Macari, the platform, you're protected. And I was going to use a credit card to purchase. So I went ahead and made the purchase. They shipped it. It came in this. The only problem was I could feel it. And I'm like, that's not the shape of of this right it wasn't a card instead I could tell it was a coin so I went ahead and let's see open this up try not to show my info and sure enough it's coin and I was like oh you know Morgan dollar okay I didn't spend much time looking at this thing but 1879 very nice condition, but not a super high value coin until I looked closer and I'm like, ooh, it's a Carson City, right? And I was like, holy crap, you know, that thing's worth a little bit of money. So my thought was, okay, they picked up the wrong piece and accidentally mailed me the wrong piece instead of the card. They sent me the coin that should have went to someone else and the card, vice versa or whatever. So I promptly did a return on Macari. And I noticed, let's see the address here. This person was in Washington, okay, Washington, where I purchased it from. Well, the return envelope, um, or that I printed off on Macari, had, it was in Hawaii, somewhere in Hawaii. So I mail this thing back to Hawaii. And I wait, and it gets there. And I had processed, you know, like I said, online, did the return. And the, the address, it said, was the improper address. So they shipped it back to me. I'm like, it can't be the improper address. That's the one they gave me. So, so I thought, well, I'm not going to get charged for this. <clears throat> they told me to uh, go ahead and, and keep the item um, after the second event happened. So let me get on to the second event. While this one was being shipped back, knowing I'm getting the money back for that, I went and looked and, you know, disappointed. I said, well... Look, here's an autographed jersey, Caitlin Clark jersey. And it was the uh, Iowa jersey from um, last or this year, right, last year, the Final Four jersey, autographed. And it was Panini certified. And I'm like, hey, that's a safe bet. So I'll, I'll get that instead of, you know, the SI sports card 2021 
for kids Caitlin Clark card. So I put the order in for that, and lo and behold, they ship it, and it comes in, and guess what? <laughs> it's in one of these, and I'm like, oh no, another coin. Okay, now I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I knew real quick something's up. And you're going to say, well, you should have noticed it's the same seller. It was not the same seller. Let's see. This one was from a Deborah. The first one was from a Carrie. Okay. And instead of Washington State, this one shipped from Pennsylvania. All right. So I processed the return, and I can't even remember where this one went back to. I, I don't know if it was Pennsylvania or I started to do the return. But I got on the car and I'm like, hey, you know, something's going on, something's fishy. Did all my pictures and returns. But this time I got a little smarter, right? I went ahead and got out the precious metal or the uh, metalytics, Sigma metalytics precious metal verifier. Of course, I put it on silver and I went to the 90% pre-1900 setting which would be for a Morgan. I thought, now this Morgan, I'm going to check out. And by the way, it was another uh, Carson City Morgan in this one, but it was a different year. It was in, uh, 1878. So I got it out, checked it. See, it's clear off the chart. I said, hmm, I don't look in it. That does not look good. And of course, this other one hadn't returned or hadn't returned yet from Hawaii. But I finally got it back and see it's the same way. Okay. So I let Macari know that, hey, I think you got somebody scamming you get the uh, your customers here. And they're actually, right, very similar. This is coming from the same person, even though it's two different addresses. So what happens if I would have thought, you know, this was real and just went ahead and uh, went ahead and raided them? Well, they would have got paid. And that's what they were banking on. So this is where you need to protect yourself. It's okay on these platforms to order, but you want to verify, right? You can't just trust people. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. And I knew that. I knew I had protection. I knew I was uh, intelligent enough to get this item and have it checked if, if the authentic stuff come in. So same way with something like this. A lot of people would have thought, oh, this is really nice. I'm keeping this. That's what they were banking on, that you'd just be happy. You got a high dollar item up uh, what you thought was a high dollar item that you would go ahead and you know press the review button that it's a great seller everything went well they'd get paid and now there's no chance for you to get your money back the second layer of protection was i paid with a credit card through macari so if macari hadn't taken care of it i got another avenue to pursue right i can call the credit card company explain to them what's going on and fight it that way but macari was uh, very good or macari however you say it they took all my information, responded back, credited me my money back, and told me to keep these fake items. So now I got an educational piece that I can share with you all on the, the, the tube. And if you don't have a precious metal lytics verifier, which they're not 100%, right? And they will check through capsules. So I wasn't worried about that. And that's another thing too. I was going to pop these out. They actually super glued or some kind of glue these capsules shut, so you'd have to destroy the capsule to get them out. Probably thought you could slow down somebody with checking it. However, I did even with the in the case. These are slightly magnetic. This is a super strong rare earth magnet. So you can see, I mean, they're definitely, there's no question those are fake. See, this is pulling to the steel under the, the frame of this desk. Super, super strong magnets. But anyway, there you guys have it. So I've got a, a couple of high dollar Morgans. It's my first Carson City mints. It's just a shame they're they're fakes. So very interesting story, but something to be on the lookout for. I hope it doesn't happen to any of you guys. And if it does, you know, just do your due diligence. Stay with a trusted party or platform or something that has these protection mechanisms in place. And just remember. Do, if, it, if you're on a site like Macari, do not rate the seller because when you do, they get paid and there's zero chance then of 
filing a uh, return process on your items because you did not get the authentic item you paid for. So it's all well and good. I got my money back and you know, I can stick to something more and that's affordable because I looked and comparable to what I tried to buy. Um, <laughs> there's one of those SI cards that's signed probably where they stole the photo, but there's one on, uh, I think on eBay and it's, it's priced ridiculous. It's like six grand. And then even the jerseys, any kind of signed jerseys, uh, north of a thousand dollars. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. Um, you know, half that. Yeah, that's a great buy. Maybe, maybe you could look into something like that, but I'm not paying that kind of money for a piece of, uh, sports memorabilia that could tank in the future. It could go up, who knows, but it's just out of my, my uh, price range. So I hope that helped. Hope it was a good story. You guys be careful out there. Be safe. Keep stacking and peace out.